Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix your device is missing important security updates error in your Windows machine. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and manually check for the Windows update. To do this, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings page, you may go ahead and click on Windows Update. And then on the right hand side, you will see an option for check for the updates. Click on check for the updates and see if there are any updates to be installed on your computer. If there are any updates to be installed, go ahead, download and install those updates. Restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. This should fix the problem. Now, in spite of trying all this step, and if you're still facing a problem, the second step is to go ahead and run Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the Start button and then click on Settings. Once you're on the Settings, you may go ahead and click on System. And then on the right hand side, you may click on Troubleshoot. Once you're on the Troubleshoot, you may click on Other Troubleshooter. In case if you have used Windows Update Troubleshooter in the past, it would show up under Most Frequent, otherwise it would show up under Other. In my case, it is listed right under Most Frequent. Click on Run. So this will go ahead and initiate or run the inbuilt diagnostic tool within the Windows and check if there are any issues related to Windows Update. Wait until the Windows Troubleshooter has been successfully executed. Once the troubleshooter has been successfully executed, you may close this window, restart your computer, and then try to check or try to install the Windows update by doing a right click on the start button and then clicking on settings. On settings, you may go ahead and click on Windows update and then try to install the updates manually. See if the issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step to resolve this issue is to make sure your Windows Update service is running. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the Start button and then click on Run. In the Run window, you may go ahead and type services.msc and then click on OK. This should open the Services window. In this list, you will have to locate for Windows Update. Do a right click and then click on Properties. Make sure the Windows Update service is running, the status is running, and make sure the startup type has been set to automatic. In case if it has been set to disable, make sure you change it to automatic. Click on Apply, and then click on OK. And as you are doing this, locate for the Windows Update again. It would be in alphabetical order. Click on Restart to make sure the Windows Update service is running. Simultaneously, also make sure the Windows Time service is running. You can do a right click and then click on Properties and make sure the service status is running. And at the same time, you can also try to restart this uh, Windows Time service. You can do a right click and then click on Restart to make sure the service is up and running. Once this is done, you may close this window and then try to install this update and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step is to go ahead and reset Windows Update Components. To do this step, you will have to open Command Prompt as an administrator. So you can go to the search window and in the search window, you may go ahead and type Command Prompt. Do a right click on the Command Prompt under the Best Match and then click on Run as Administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now to reset Windows Update component, you will have to copy the command from the video description. Do a right click on the command prompt window that should automatically paste the command and execute the command. Wait until these commands has been successfully executed. So basically what you're trying to do here is you're trying to stop and start some of the Windows component. At the same time, you're also trying to rename the software distribution list and the cat root folder. And in the end, you might see a command saying that net start MSI server. This is a Windows installer server. Hit enter to execute this command. 
once this command has been successfully executed, you can close this window, restart your computer, and then try to install the Windows update and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. In spite of this, if you're still facing a problem, the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and repair the system files. To do this, you will have to open command prompt. The search window, you may go ahead and type command prompt. Once you have the best match for the command prompt, you can do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have this command prompt open on your computer screen, you will have to type the command for SFC scan. So the command is SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. You will have to wait until the command has been executed successfully. Basically, you would see the verification status to 100%. Once that command has been executed, the next command what you will have to go and execute is to restore health the DISM command you can copy the command from the video description and paste it here and hit enter wait for this command to successfully execute once this is done you may close this window restart your computer and then try to install the windows update and check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step in spite of this, if you're still facing a problem, the next step what you could try is you can try to uninstall and reinstall the recent update. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you will have to click on update and security. So basically, you will have to click on Windows update and then click on update history on the right hand side. This will show you the set of updates which are currently installed on the computer. Once you're on the update history, you will have to scroll down and then locate for uninstall updates. Once the list has been populated, it will show you the latest updates which are currently installed on the computer. So you can click on uninstall. If you have more than one, you may go ahead and click on uninstall. Wait until the updates are successfully uninstalled. Close this window, restart your computer, and then try to install those updates manually and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now, in spite of trying all this step, and if you're still facing a problem, the sec next step, what you could do is you can check date and time settings on the computer. So incorrect date, time can cause update issue. To do this, you will have to open control panel. So in the search window, you may go ahead and type control panel, double click on control panel. Once you're on the control panel, in case if you're on the category view, you may go ahead and change the view by to large icon or small icon. For the demonstration purpose, I'm going to choose large icon. Once you're on this view, you will have to go ahead and click on date and time. Once you're on the date and time, you will see the date and time properties window. In this, you will have to go ahead and click on internet time and then click on change settings. And here, make sure you synchronize with an internet time server by clicking on update now. This will make sure your clock has been successfully synchronized with the internet time. And this will also give you a display of the current time. Make sure it relates to the time, what to the location, what you are in. Once this is done, you may close, click on OK and then click on apply and OK. Close this window, restart your computer, and then try to install the updates and check if your issue has been resolved. So all this step should definitely fix the problem. In spite of trying all this step, and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.